What's up? My name's Kitty Toes, and I'm going to show you how I do the new Guardians of the Rift minigame. But I also want to make a little guide for anyone who's relatively new to the game and the minigame, minigame alike. And I'll put timestamps in the video if you're just here to see the sweaty strats and the sweaty run through of just one full game later on in the video. But this new minigame, minigame is a really fun way to grind out runecrafting. And I wanted to make this guide on how I do things personally. And I'm not going to be going over how to accomplish the quest that unlocks the minigame because minigame, there's plenty of videos out there that do a fantastic job of describing it already and also the runescape wiki has all the info you might need on that topic as well so i'm not claiming this is going to be the most penultimate meta guide in existence but this is all just based on my own knowledge playing the game for a few hours and i just wanted to share some tips and tricks that i picked up while playing and i hope you find it interesting and maybe even a little bit informative so I've been able to pull about three reward points per game consistently, and ever since I got this uh, lamp here, I've been able to make that into four points, and if I got really lucky in a game, I might be able to do five, but I haven't been able to make it happen yet. Um, but I, I'm going to show a run through with and without the lantern so you can see exactly how that looks as well. So, as you can see, I play a main account, and uh, I'm sure you might be able to tell, but my stats are very, um, mid. And I don't really have much Iron Man knowledge outside of the limited leagues that I've played, so this guide might be a little bit biased against Irons. Sorry, Irons, uh, but you guys are usually really resourceful anyway, so I'm sure the wiki could help you fill in any gaps that I may have missed for you guys. So let's go ahead and go over the gear that I recommend for this mini game. game. So you should already know this since you've presumably already done the quest that lets you unlock the minigame, but the two things that are required for this game are any kind of a pickaxe and a chisel. And that's it. There's nothing else. Those are the only two things that you absolutely need to participate within the minigame, besides the level 10 broom crafting that you needed to complete the quest. As far as items beyond uh, just those two, we have rune pouches. And I actually just went out and got this brand new large pouch, which is currently broken, but I'll get to that in a minute. But I went out and got it specifically for this minigame because I hated runecrafting before this game released, and I only ever leveled it up through tiers of guthics and lamps and books of knowledge. But yeah, I would definitely bring, I would recommend bringing as many of these room pouches as is available to you. And even if you just got a small pouch like you should already have at least that one since you get it for free basically after doing the abyss mini quest which is a requirement for this game and all that but every little bit will help you earn more points in the game so bring all the pouches that you can so next up we have Varrock Armor, which you get from completing the Varrock Diaries. And um, I would recommend uh, doing up to medium because it's very easy. Uh, everything after that takes a little bit more time and effort to get with kudos and stuff like that. But even just Varrock Armor 1 will help you in the minigame because um, it requires you to mine essence and armor will help you sometimes get double essence uh, periodically and the better armor that you have the higher uh, diaries that you've completed the more chance of that happening so um, but two has been doing wonders for me up until this point so that is definitely the uh, second thing that I recommend and the last piece of equipment that I recommend that you bring to the uh, Guardians of the Rift minigame with you would be some Graceful, uh, because it is one of the most useful things in the game, uh, especially it, whenever you do things that require a lot of running around, which is most of the game. Uh, but um, So I do recommend it for the minigame. But I have done a test uh, where I did a game without any graceful, and the entire 10 minute match that it took me to do that whole game, it was a little scuffed, uh, and I missed some cues here and there, but towards the end of the game, after 10 minutes of constantly running around, I was still left with 50% run energy, because there is a mechanic in the game that 
allows you to recover run energy as you complete certain tasks and stuff. Uh, so you could probably get away with not really wearing any or not that much graceful. So UIMs, you probably would be alright showing up in just anything. But um, yeah, do with that information what you will. But I do recommend as much as you do have graceful, bring what you got. All right, so that actually does it for all of the recommended gear that I suggest that you bring to this minigame. Uh, outside of the rewards that you get from doing the minigame, such as this Abyssal Lantern that I have here, and also the clothing that you can get, the runecrafting outfit, um, that outfit. Uh, I don't really have like that much knowledge on it, but as far as I know, it allows you to create more runes when runecrafting. However, it does not grant you extra experience for those runes, so it can make it a little bit more profitable, but I mean... I, I'm not really going for that whenever I do the minigame. I'm just in it for the XP, you know. But I know the set can make it a lot more profitable, so maybe I'll be interested in that later on if I'm really hurting for some cash or something. I think it is also worth mentioning that there are some other uh, minor quest requirements that are needed to be able to craft certain runes within the minigame, such as Lost City for making cosmic runes, and you also need a uh, troll stronghold in order to do law runes, as well as Morning's End Part 2 in order to make death runes, which I actually just went and did, and that's a bitch of a quest. Uh, but I, I just recently got the requirement to be able to make death runes. That's why I went and did that, and I'm nowhere near blood runes, but if you uh, want to do blood runes, eventually you'll have to complete Sins of the Father. But I won't even really touch on making blood runes in this video, but for now I'm just going to go ahead and show you a couple of different ways to get there, all involving fairy rings, which you do need to at least have started uh, Fairy Tale Part 1 in order to have access to those, which I recommend anyway, because because they are a very convenient way of getting around RuneScape in general. So most of you already know this, but one of the best ways of getting around RuneScape with fairy rings, besides having one set up in your player-owned house, which uh, I don't have, but uh, instead I have this Arty Cape one, which is super convenient, especially for irons, because upon right-clicking and going to a monastery teleport, it takes you right here to the monastery, which also has a very convenient uh, altar within it. And uh, But not only that, but we've also got the fairy ring is really close by, so if you take your Draman Staff and just run over to the right just a little bit, and pretty soon, eventually, it'll just be revealed. Oh yeah, I've got NPC Hider on, but there it is. There's the fairy ring. Let's see, look at that. It only took just a couple seconds to actually get over here and find it. So um, the fairy ring that you want to go to is Dis. I've already got it preloaded right here, and that will take you to uh, the Wizard's Tower. And that is where the minigame is located, and it's a very easy way to get there. Um, but not only that, but if you are a main account like me, then what I like to do is actually take a handy dandy teleport to house tab and go ahead and break it. And I've got my house teleport set up to take me inside my house, but we'll go ahead and go out. And I'm already in, or at least I should be, it doesn't look like I am. Oh yeah, I'm in world... Oh yeah, that's right, I've got Entity Hider on, so... I'm in world 330. Uh, so that is the house party world, or one of them. And that world will allow you to just go up to this sign, and, and typically, Workless, he's always on here, and there's some other houses you could go to. You could go to any one of them and just enter their house, and when you do, you load in, and then you see they've got a lot of different stuff that you can do. You can refill all your stats, your prayer at this pool um, you can do all that but most importantly what I like to use their house for is going over to this uh, altar right here and because I've already done uh, lunar diplomacy I like to go ahead and venerate and go to lunar I'm already on lunar so if I were doing this fresh I would be on standard already right click and go to lunar and then there we go I'm on the lunar spells and why I like to be on lunar spells is because of NPC contact because while you are doing 
the new mini game, you will uh, be breaking your pouches as you use them, and you'll be you'll only be able to hold so much rune essence in them when they're broken. So to have them at maximum capacity, you just use NPC contact, and you talk to the dark mage, and then you talk to him a little bit. You can hold down the space bar to. Uh, go through his dialogue, can you repair my pouches please? And then right as soon as you see this, he says fine, simple transfiguration, he's already done it. See, I go back, boom, it's fixed. So that's all you need to do, you don't even need to continue the conversation, just go on your merry way. And doing that between rounds is really easy, because you get a lot of time in between rounds to um, do that. Um, not like a whole bunch, but enough. Uh, and you need uh, certain spells, uh, runes to cast. I, I keep all the runes that you need. You need uh, air, astral, and cosmic in order to ca uh, cast that, so I keep my my room pouch filled with those. You don't need a room pouch to, in order to make those if you just open up a bank, because there's a bank at the mini uh, game. Then you could just take out those three kinds, which is uh, cosmic, astral, and air, and cast the spell real quick. Put them back in your bank, and then you're good to go. You can go back into the uh, mini game. But then, so now that I have uh, gone to this man's house, got my pr uh, my spells in order, I can right click and go to. I can ring configure on this little tree combo, the tree fairy ring combo, DIS to the wizard's tower, and boom, you can just go there, just like this. And then we can, I always love clicking on this little mini-map to carry myself around uh, the world a, a little bit better than clicking on um, the actual world itself, but we just go in here, go on downstairs, which you should already know after completing the mini-game, but then there's your portal right there, and you can just go on in anytime and here we are and there's your bank chest and everything and you should be right ready to go and really quickly i did kind of forget to go over this but with the arty cape one you get from doing the ardone uh diary one and i could probably do more but i'm just too lazy can't be bothered because you really only need the one to take yourself to the monastery to get close to that ring and then also to do the npc contact uh you do need lunar diplomacy but also you need level 67 yeah level 67 magic in order to cast that and if you don't have that then you're every time that you break your pouches you're just gonna either have to deal with it and use them with lowered capacity or you're gonna have to go and run all the way to the dark mage in the abyss uh and talk to him in person to get these um repaired like basically probably every hour or so because that's about how often these break on me so i just figured that was also worth mentioning so you've got your gear down you've got your requirements your quests all that good stuff you've got that knowledge and now let's talk about some uh more not runescape side stuff uh that i recommend using uh in particularly uh, talking about Rune Light, which is now officially on the Jagex uh, homepage. Uh, so I guess they do kind of endorse it in a way, uh, but I, I highly recommend it. And a couple of plugins I wanted to talk about that I like to use uh, with Rune Light. Uh, I like to, uh, right now I don't have any of them activated because I will be activating them uh, later on whenever I do a sweaty run through, but for now, without them, I'll do a run through and show you how that looks, but this is why I recommend using them. And um, I think it's mainly just three in general. There's the tile identifier, true tile locator, something like that, which shows your character and what tile they're on and their true tile that they're on, because there is kind of a difference between what you see, where your character model is, and where your character actually is in reference to where the game thinks that your character is so whenever i click over here my character is probably already there before he she even runs over there um and i'll, I'll show you examples of that but that's one uh the tile indicator plugin and then there's also the gpu obviously that's a great one um not only because it allows you to expand uh, how far that you can see, because right now I have it turned off, and this is about how far you can see with it turned off. 
but if I go ahead and turn it on, let me see. Uh, yeah, normally I run it at about this range right here. And I like this a little bit better. I can see a little bit farther and you can see, I can see the, the game, most of the game all the way from over here. And it just allows me to be able to see, uh, but not everybody has, uh, requirements of their hardware that can handle that. So, um, but yeah, I recommend the GPU to be able to see farther. And that is actually it for recommendations for Rune Light. Everybody has theirs uh, set up differently. I would recommend uh, looking into that, setting it um, up however you feel like. But without uh, any further ado, we can go ahead and finally get into this mini game, see how it works. And for this first run through, I'm actually going to try and go for a uh, minimalistic, uh, very slow breakdown. And I'm not even going to wear graceful. I'll show you how that works. Um, and then I won't even be using my lamp. I'll instead be using this uh, useless uh, trophy that doesn't really give me any bonus stats. Oh, wait, hold on. That's the wrong trophy. There we go. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do a run through with just this minimalist. I mean, I guess I could do it without that one too and just some straight up fashion scape for you. And we'll see how it goes with just that. Alrighty, so I've got my inventory all cleared out. I've got all my fashion scape on. Literally nothing here helps me except for this pickaxe, which I'm only holding because it saves me an inventory slot. All my room pouches are fixed up, ready to go. I've got my chisel ready to go. You can see everybody's already out here waiting. And we can actually go up to this barrier, right click on it and go to peak. And you can see it's 94% done in there. That means they are really close. It's literally probably only a matter of second, seconds before they're actually done with the current game that's in there. So um, as soon as they're done with that, it should uh, we should start actually seeing all of them start flowing out. And as they do that, uh, we can start flowing in after a couple seconds have passed because it gives you a couple of seconds of grace time between games. See, look, they're all starting to come out right now. So I could try to pass barrier looks like they're finishing up you can wait until they're done i can just spam click on this pass barrier do this for a couple seconds until it finally lets me join i think that there's a limit on how many people can join so once you get like 50 or 100 or whatever limit is on the game in here i don't think anybody else uh can go in so uh i think yep there we go all right so we're in now so the first thing we see a lot of stuff we see these tables this pool thing here remains all this stuff the quest should have taught you a lot but what i like to do i like to take a weak cell take 10 of these uncharged cells and i like to try and pay attention down here in my uh little feed here you can see it says it's going to start in 30 seconds 10 seconds so i'm actually going to go over here right position myself right here and i am going to spam click so three two one and I got it! Sweet! Alright, so it pushed me out, so I'm gonna go down here. I have the agility level required to go down to these rocks, and the reason that I'm doing that right off the bat, and the reason I had it push me out is to get me closer to the rock, and I like to uh, put the cell... So, what I did there... <clears throat> I took the weak cell, I put it in the uh, the weak cell tile, and that put up a barrier. The barrier helps you defend against the monsters that originally will come out of there in about 120 seconds, as it says right there. And so because I put that cell in uh, on the this side of the barrier, when the barrier was active, it pushed me out and brought me closer to these rocks. Uh, so that lets me go down here and mine a little bit quicker. Oh, I forgot to use my special attack with my... Uh, pickaxe but uh yeah so this uh these remains are the best to be mining as opposed to the guardian remains the guardian parts uh these here i've noticed when you're mining them you will never ever just receive just one fragment at a time you'll always get at least two if not more uh i think two or three and then if you're wearing the um the varrock chest you can get like maybe even four or six or something like that but these are really good to mine right off the bat and i normally like to stay down here for somewhere between 100 and 130 whatever i'm feeling like i don't really have it super perfected down uh to a science yet but uh 120 is uh how much i like to have uh, for three full inventories of essence whenever I go to make them and we see everybody else is going to filter out here So I'm gonna go ahead and follow them They're all going over to this workbench and I'm gonna go ahead and click on that workbench with them and I'm gonna start making essence and I'm turning these into essence and then 
as that's happening, I know that I can get all of this filled except for this bottom row is all going to fit in these pouches. So as, I, as soon as I see that one, I go ahead and fill them all and then start working again. And so these all these pouches are filled now because those are the only ones I have. And once I get all of these filled up, so what I'm looking for right now, see, look, we just had uh, some portals activate because those were dormant and now they are, uh, we got death and earth. So quickly acting, I know death is my best rune that I can make. It's going to give me the most experience. So I'm going to do that. Empty, empty, empty. And I think there's actually a rune light thing you can do to make that switch it to make it get it a, a one tick. Uh, empty so I just made some runes and I'm gonna go and feed this guy my guardian energy and now I've got this overcharged cell so I'm gonna shove that in this one here and it's gonna improve it boom helping out the community so that improves the uh, barrier and these guys are uh, it's gonna take even longer to get through that barrier and so we see here we've got an east portal and everybody's filtering over there that's why i like to see everybody because it uh, helps me figure out what i'm supposed to do next so here we go this is actually uh when i said those other ones were the best this is actually the best because these just give you straight up essence not just fragments actual essence and then once i got uh near full fill those up and then go and repeat the process all over again once I have this filled up and you want to keep an eye out for that uh, portal indicator whenever you see it come up. And uh, so I've, over, I've got some runes in my inventory. So I'm going to go ahead and go to this deposit pool, right click deposit runes. And it just automatically, boom, put all my runes back in there. I can make one more piece. So I have 102 cataclysmic energy and not much elemental. That's because I went and I made death runes. Death runes are considered cataclytic and... Uh, so the elemental is only your uh, air, water, earth, and fire. So fire is up right now. That's the best elemental to go and make. So I'm going to go do that real quick. And we're going to make some fire runes. We're going to click. And then as soon as we make those, empty, empty, empty. And we'll take those. And also watch my uh, run energy. I'm going back to the portal. I got 72. I'm going to go up and offer my essence to this man again. I'm going to go from 69 up to 100. See, that's why you don't really even need Graceful in here, because I'm basically staying at 100 at all times. But we don't have another portal indicator, so we're going to go ahead and go make some more uh, runes <clears throat> manually with our fragments, which is fine. Uh, deposit our runes. Oh yeah, we've got uh, one of these things, so we can go and put it in a barrier. I sometimes forget to do that. So what you want to do, see, now all of these are totally maxed out. This is missing a little bit of health, so I shoved it in there. If you shove your uh, cell into a barrier that's at full health and you actually don't give it any health whatsoever then you don't you miss out on the um, xp that it would give you whenever you were to do that so you don't get any xp for it and you lose the cell so that big 250 xp drop that's from looking for when i go to put my cell and power up a barrier oh we've got another barrier well yeah i've been kind of thrown off on this round because uh and just kind of done trying to demonstrate the mechanics everybody's going to that portal but i've already got a full thing of essence so let's see what i can go do um i know that actually the earth is going to give me a better power cell than the uh the oh well it went away but now we've got the law rune the law the law altar is very good better than the water one for sure and that's what you got to do most of the time is compare what's active and what you need and i'm pretty even right now the, the goal is to try and keep your uh contribution pretty even between your elemental and your cataclytic energy and so uh if you go and you do catalytic then you want to go and do uh elemental and then alternate and it's kind of up in the air because at the end of the game you can kind of once you do a couple of games you can get a feel for however many you could do um how many runes you can craft uh, per game before it ends every game is about 10 minutes so uh you, you'll get a feel for it eventually so i can see this this is uh lost a little bit of health i give it some more get some good 180 xp drop and then uh, go and craft some more runes and um, he's at 50 percent right now everybody's contributing and uh, making that better i probably only contributed like 50 percent of that myself but that's fine i'm not 50 percent not even 
<laughs> like three, like not even three. There's so many of us here. I bet it's not even three, but uh, we'll just craft some more runes. That's fine. And if you ever run out of essence, there's always these little piles. None of these. I'm pretty sure that this pile is no better than this pile. I like to go to this one because it's even closer to the workbench and you're wasting uh, less time. So now we can go. We got to get some elemental. Ooh, okay. So this is the once he gets to 60%. Uh, all of these things lose health, and then start, stuff starts getting a little bit real. And we can see this indicator here. This is your uh, how many guardians that you have protecting the barriers uh, that are killing the monsters that are attacking the barriers coming from the abyss. And so they've all my teammates have done a really good job of keeping that 10 out of 10. Um, typically, that's probably like 10 of the good, the overcharged elementals. You see, you got one here that's strong. It's not quite as good as, ele uh, as over overcharged, but it's still pretty good. Oh, okay, so we've got a south portal. See, you can see everybody going there, so we'll go along with them. And I don't really need these water runes. I am going to go ahead and drop them to make some more space for <clears throat> some more essence. So uh, next up, I'm actually... Um, perfectly even pretty much again so now i can just go and uh choose to do whichever rune i like the most after this and i'm just making sure all of my pouches are filled up because i'm kind of losing track of what i've got and where but as soon as i get uh filled up we'll go back through this portal and looks like we've got fire oh no never mind we've got okay so i can't do blood so i guess i'm going to earth so let's go ahead and go to earth wait 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 Oh, that's fine. Actually, I'm going to destroy that because I know that Earth can give me a strong one, which is better, so that's fine. Sometimes I forget to use those. It's all right. And then we double click and then go back to the portal and see how fast my guy goes over there. That's part of the tile indicator thing that I'll show you more in depth on the, uh, the second one. So give that guy my essence and then I will deposit my runes and he's at 85 i could probably squeeze a sneaky little uh 10 piece of a rune somewhere if i uh hurry up and i can get some cataclytic whatever they happen to have <coughs> active because once he gets to like 85 it starts really escalating because everybody is trying to uh deposit as much runes uh, as much essence as they can and so uh you kind of gotta act quick because you don't got much time so right now we've got natures i like natures oh yeah i need natures because i just did elemental so yep that'll be the one so i'll go ahead and craft those and as soon as i do that reclick and then she's already through look she didn't even make it through there and she went through the portal that's what i was talking about where your character isn't really where they appear to be with their tiles, and that's what the tile indicator marker is for. So um, let's shove this cell in somewhere. I think that's missing a little bit if somebody doesn't heal it before I get to it. There we go. 180 experience, and look, he's almost done. And there we go. All right, so that one actually was pretty good. I got three... Uh, points as I normally do with uh, no of my none of my um, my actual preferred gear with just some uh, some fashion scape I uh, granted I do have a, a dragon pick and I think levels do have something to do with that a little bit but yeah that wasn't too bad of a run uh, it wasn't too sweaty I did get thrown off my uh, my counter a little bit um, but I will be going to get my uh, my preferred gear and I'm going to try a, a, an actual real like sweaty try next up Alrighty, we're back, and you can, see, you can see a couple things have changed. I've, I've turned on my tile indicator, so now it shows where my guy is, where he's going, and where I'm highlighting. And I've turned on the GPU, so now everything is, I can see a little bit farther. And I've uh, turned on a couple of other different ones. Um, these guys over here, they were talking about another plugin that's specifically called the Guardians of the Rift plugin, and that allows you to see uh, some stuff that's highlighted, like see right there, the... Uh, the active portals are highlighted and stuff like that. And I'm going to try it out. I haven't tried it out yet before. We'll see what kind of differences it made. And um, I wanted to go over a couple things. I kind of glossed over uh, after that last uh, walkthrough. So this pool here, this is basically a bank deposit box. You can actually use it as a like actual deposit anything from your inventory whatsoever you just click deposit you can put anything from your inventory directly into your bank um not very useful to uims but with the right click deposit runes it only takes the fully crafted runes out of your inventory and puts them directly in your bank that's why that's so useful and then also i wanted to uh 
say that there, uh, when I was making the cells, I was getting overcharged, strong, medium, weak. Whenever you take a weak cell, that's the the weakest one. You don't want to make guardians out of weak cells, but in your inventory, you can only have one charged cell at a time, whether that's weak, strong, medium, overcharged. You can't have two totally charged cells at the same time, and that's why I kept a stack of uncharged cells, because as I was making runes, it was making cells, and I was using the cells, and whenever I use a cell, I would get more cells, but you can only have one in your inventory at a time, otherwise... Um, it just won't let you get any more. So if you have a charged cell in your inventory, you can't get any more. So if you're wondering, oh, why aren't I getting any more cells? Well, you probably already have one in your inventory somewhere, because that's what happened. That's what was happening to me uh, the first uh, couple times. I didn't realize why I wasn't getting cells, but they're filtering out. So I'm gonna get back in. We're actually gonna try and do it sweaty style this time. I might be a little bit more quiet and focused. I'm gonna try my best. Uh, I've got my uh, my lantern this time. Uh, so we uh, are going to get a couple more points, and I'm going to go right back here where I like to start out. Um, and I mean, honestly, I could do here. I could start out over here. I could even start out over here and get it to push me out. It doesn't really matter. Just I, I like to make it to get it, me uh, closer to all of this, and I like to turn my indicator. Ten seconds. All right. As soon as it says five, I'm going to spam click and see uh, what I could do. Yep, five and uh, three, two, one. Get it in there. Nope, that's fine. All right, we're just going to go, and uh, I will destroy. So I destroy and hold down the number one uh, so that uh, destroy, yes, and then do my <clears throat> special attack. So I mine a little bit more. So I've got my Varrock uh, plate armor on now, so I should be getting a little bit more. See, it says five uh, experience every time I mine, but every now and then it'll pop up and say 10, and that's your your Varrock uh, armor popping off. See, right there, 10. I just got a little bit of extra um, essence right there, and so uh, I am actually going to wind up getting up to my goal of, I think I'm going to shoot for 130. And I'm not really going to show you just me sitting here mining like 130 essence. Uh, it's pretty boring, but we're almost there. And as you can see, everybody's already heading up that way, going to go make some runes. And we're almost at that point ourselves. I'm going to wait till it goes to actually like 130 and then eh, a little bit more. Yeah, that's fine. All right, we'll go. We'll uh, start making some essence. So <clears throat> learned a couple things talking to some guys around here. So apparently, I didn't really know this before, but uh, left click on these pouches automatically fills them, right? But whenever you go and you hold down shift, changes it to empty. That's so much faster <laughs> than manually into, uh, emptying them with uh, right click like I've been doing. Uh, so I'm going to give that a shot uh, this time, and we're going to see if we can't get a little bit more points. I'm going to shoot for uh, four rewards points. And we got blood and earth right now. We got, oh man, that's 10 seconds left. I think we can make that. Oh, that's so nice to know exactly the seconds left on the active portal. Oh man, that is really sweet, actually. I like that a lot. That makes it so much better. So uh, a little bit of lag, but that's all right. And empty, empty, empty click and then do that again oh perfect all 40 oh that's so much faster holy crap oh my god i love that i'm so glad you see you gotta the think i thank the community for that one that was a really hot tip that they uh they shared with me that's really nice all right so we got another portal too so we'll go ahead and enter that and i don't really need this 120 earth runes i'll drop those and we'll start mining some <clears throat> essence right now and I think this is pretty good. We're on a uh, good pace. We're on track to uh, make some uh, some decent gains. Uh, the most points I've ever made in a single game is, is four. I've never made five. I don't even know if that's possible. Probably is. Uh, who knows? Probably with some better uh, stats or some equipment or something. But let's see. We got water and blood. I can't really do blood, so I guess we're doing water. But that's fine. Like Even though I've already got a bunch of... Um, uh, stuff. Let me focus on shift clicking. Shift, 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 click, and portal. Perfect. See, the, the tile's going, and that's where they are right now, so that's crazy. Yeah, I like, I like, uh, the progress that I'm making here. This feels nice. This feels very good. We got some experience, so all right, time to deposit runes, and I, I set it up to where uh, left click also automatically goes into um, deposit runes instead of deposit like it normally is with the menu entry swapper uh, plugin on Runelight. 
All right, so we're doing pretty good. We've reached the uh, final phase of the uh, mini game where the guardians uh, percentage reached over 60%. We've got all of our guardians already done. I don't normally fool around with guardians because you can only have 10 per game and most everybody gets to them before I can anyway. Uh, so uh, most of the time I just shove my cells into the, uh, the, the barriers whenever I get the chance. So, um, that's all right. We can go to. I'm gonna do the Earth one because it's uh, it gives me a strong cell as compared to um, the Cosmic would only give me a. Uh, I think it's a medium one that it gives me. And oh, we got a uh, East Portal to get to. We've got 17 seconds on it. That's fine. I can shove that in there and have plenty of time to go around and get in this portal. Yep. Seven, six, five, four. All right, we got it. Sweet, perfect. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Just drop these and chug on, chugging on. Uh, Seventy-seven percent. We're doing all right. Not too shabby. Fill all these. Get some more. Hopefully, we get some good. I haven't been able to get my um my death runes very much recently but hey that's basically the nature of the game man it's oh man <laughs> we got fire i should have done catalytic whenever i had the chance because uh, i gotta wait 10 more seconds before i can go do another catalytic i really hope to god that it turns into um death i'm just gonna sit here and hope and pray that it's uh nope it's nature though nature's not bad i'll take it that is fine with me we'll go ahead and do that and empty, 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 do that again. Ooh, 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 if I hurry, I might be able to get back and get a little bit more. Work at this bench for a sec. Um, shut my thing in there. Okay, I've got almost 300 per, I like that. This, uh, this could be a, this could be a four, a four point game. Let me just make a couple of essence and then go to the nature four three two one i gotta hurry because if he's only got 95 percent left that he could get from 95 to 100 just like that like nobody's business like it happens in the blink of an eye i swear but we're gonna do that go through the portal and yes i think we're gonna get it because he's at 90. Wait, 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 get, wait, it, get, wait, it, get it get it get it put it in no how many did i get four we still got four okay that's fine i'm happy with that that is all right with me and so that was a pretty good run it, it was a little bit scuffed i feel like it's still uh, room for improvement but there you go i i uh that's about as sweaty as i get with that it, i love I, I don't know i it, it, it's it's a pretty chill game overall you know i, I, I i'm all frantic and i'm going around uh it seems like i'm i'm like out of breath all the time but it really is chill you just sit here and you get in that that grindy mindset you just do it over and over and you can just like listen to something in the background like this video or something but yeah i had a lot of fun all right, so I've went and I've thrown on a little bit of uh, fashion scape, as you can see, because uh, I wanted to get a little bit of good luck going. Because I'm gonna actually redeem a couple of the points that I have uh, been saving up, just a little bit, not that much, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to catch it on camera and see what I get and uh, talk about that a little bit. And there was one other thing, uh, mechanic about the uh, mini game that I didn't really go over that I noticed um, at, right at the end of that uh, sweaty try through of mine where I got four points uh, I was doing nature runes and I wound up getting a um, a nature talisman in my inventory and what that does is that what is uh, that's what let me go back into the uh, guardian of the nature without it being active uh, so um, that's what I used at the very end there um, pretty self-explanatory might have not needed explanation but i figured i would just uh, mention that so all right without uh, further ado let's see uh, what we get with the rewards uh oh, gotta put in my um pen for that let's see what we got uh some uh the rewards money wise i don't think is the greatest um but we've got i don't know how many remaining like it's not very good for like money making that's a lot of blood runes though <laughs> as soon as i say it's not 
get the blood ba for for money making. I got 20 more rewards left. I didn't even know. All right, so we got some abyssal pearls. That's great. That is exactly what we need. We're going to use those, and we're going to talk to uh, Apprentice Felix. He's the one that we talked to to get his whole outfit, and he um, is the one that I'm going to talk to to get. Um, Anything else that costs abyssal pearls, we just got a little bit more. I think the whole outfit costs a hundred, no, a hundred, one thousand six hundred uh, abyssal pearls. Ooh, I got a cataclysmic talisman. Sweet. I didn't have one of those before. That's new to the collection log. All right. I'm pleased. That's not bad. I got these useless acids. We'll just scatter those. It doesn't matter. But yeah, man, I uh, I like that. Uh, I got uh, that talisman what you could do with the talisman is that i've already actually got in my bank here uh, an elemental tiara and i i uh made that so that's made out of gold you just take your um your gold bar and your tiara mold and with this uh, elemental one i got an elemental uh talisman which lets you go into any of the four elemental um runecrafting altars out in Gelenor, but this catalytic one lets you into any of the altars, which might also include blood. I'm not really sure. I'd have to look that up, but I'm definitely going to make that into a, a tiara. That's an awesome uh, thing to have in my collection log. That'll save me actually a lot of space and because I've already got tiaras for everything else, and that's, that's pretty cool. I'm pretty pleased with that. How many uh, abyssal pearls uh, do I have now? That's uh, over 200 now. That's not bad. I like that, and so uh, we could trade him, and you see this is all the stuff that he sells, and I think the Ring of the Elements, that costs 400 I'm more than halfway there, but I'm pretty sure this bad boy will get you... Well, I've seen it sell for like 10 million on um, the GE, but Tracker never seems to um, actually reflect that. Actually, on Tracker, you can see that it, it sold for more before, but... Uh, I'm not really sure what the actual price is. I haven't actually gone to the um, the GE and tried to buy one, but I think those are a decent way to make money. I'm pretty sure the blood talismans. That's a death tal. I thought he sold blood. Maybe I don't unlock them until I have sense of the father. But those I've seen that are selling for like one mil a piece. If you're trying to do this for uh, money making, I don't know how much a blood talisman would cost you. 80 pearls for uh, death. How much is a, like a chaos? 30. Okay, so maybe it'll cost you like 100 for a blood one. Maybe even more than that. Who knows? I'm not really sure. But yeah, um, that's basically uh, it for the video. Thank you so much for watching and joining. And if you have any more tips and tricks you'd like to share, feel free to share those in the comments and discuss them with everybody down there. The community is... That's why I like Old School RuneScape so much. The community is so great full of positivity and knowledge and you can pass along to each other and uh thank you so much for watching and i'll uh, see you next time